Hi everyone, Byron Martin here at Logies, and today we're going to be talking about bananas, and in particular one variety called Vente Coho, which is known as a short cycle banana. From the time it starts to grow as a young plant till the time it produces fruit is very short relative to other bananas. Here in Logies, we can do this in about a year, a year and a half, whereas most bananas that we grow would take at least two years to grow. And it is a quite tall grower here. We have it planted in the ground. If it was in a container or pot, which it can be grown in, it would probably be a little bit smaller than that. But it's had free rain in terms of its root system. And it's also in a greenhouse where there's a lot of sun and light and nice warm humidity. And so they tend to get much larger. This is going up about 15 feet in height, but truly they could be at half that and still be able to fruit and be productive. You can see the fruit is starting to ripen and this particular variety doesn't put a long banana out but puts these little short stubby ones although it is very productive and here we have what were the female flowers and then we have the chain that comes down after that which are the male flowers and of course in commercial banana production they usually snip this off so all the energy is going back up into the fruit we left it here just because this is what it really likes to do. In terms of growing bananas, it's really important that you have a lot of sunlight on them. They're not a low light plant. They can be grown in low light, but they don't really fruit very well. It takes longer to bloom them. And also the low light can create the need for them to stretch. So the more light you have on a banana plant, the better it is. And they are actually not a tree, but they're just a single pseudo stem of fiber growing up and then this flower came out of the very base and ran all the way up that trunk and shot out to create the fruit and as soon as this is done and it's just about done because they're ripening we're going to cut that right off at the bottom and here we are with a young one that's going to take over and be the next fruiting tree that we have. So when you grow them as a container plant they need a fairly large pot obviously and they need to be fertilized quite heavily during their active growing season. So the whole idea to get fruit off of them is to make that single pseudo stem grow as fast as you can, particularly during the summer months, because in the winter, obviously, it's going to slow down. And that's going to get the cycle of growth and fruit to come on quicker. One thing that we often get questions in terms of the growth of bananas is what do you do with all these pups that are forming at the ground? Now, this is in a bed of many things that we have here, so we can't really look at the base of this, but generally they'll send off one or two offshoots off of that main bulb. Some of them, like Cavendish, tend to send a lot, and it's better to cut some of those off and just leave one or two. Commercially, they leave three, but let the energy go into this plant rather than the offshoots. And you can cut them off and pot them up and then you'll have more bananas to give to friends and family. There aren't really too many problems in terms of disease and insects. They can get root rot if they're really grown soggy, wet and cold. And they can get spider mite, which you have to watch for if you're growing them outside and moving them into a home. But other than that, they're pretty free of insects and diseases. And down here we have fruits ripening. So you can see it's a very small banana. And it's quite delicious. So if you've ever wondered, can I grow a banana in a container? The answer is yes. And if you're looking for one that has the shortest period of time in terms of growth and fruit production, the Vente Coo is it. So thank you for watching. And if you'd like more information, visit us at logis.com.